This book is a series of love letters about the extraordinary things that have happened in my life and in the lives of the people I love when we've gathered around the table, when we've slowed down, when we've taken the time to gather together and to share our kitchens and to learn about each other and learn about cooking along the way. I don't want anyone to feel the pressure to become like a culinary master. I want the people who read this book to feel like they can have a basic, very beginning lesson for what it would look like to feed the people they love in a really easy way. That something really extraordinary could happen if you do something as simple as salad and bread around your messy table. Many of us, whether we know it or not, are craving some of the nourishment that comes from the time that we spend around the table. Not just the food, but the conversation, the sense of being heard and known and loved. We want to live in really vulnerable, honest ways, but it's terrifying. And so the table for me is the place where that happens. And so that's what bread and wine is. It's a love letter to life around the table, to what God can do through people and through stories and through the minutes and hours that we spend together around our tables. If you could find it within yourself to just take that first act of courage, to be brave enough to invite people into your space, I think you'll find what happens there is really extraordinary.